Okay guys, so Mark Gazelle, who famously sold his house in 2006 at the very top of the market and rebought in 2012 at the very bottom, has warned us that he feels like we're in the final inning of the housing market. And he's thinking about selling his house in California that he bought for under three million. It's worth well over five million today. Also, Jay Bloom, a billionaire real estate developer, warned us Thursday on Cavuto Coast to Coast that he feels like the real estate industry is getting hit by the perfect storm in terms of supply chain issues, a material costs, and labor shortage. And he feels like when those things work themselves out, that we're gonna get hit with tons of new housing starts, which is gonna put downward pressure on pricing. Last week I did a poll on Instagram where I asked you, if you're feeling a slight shift in the market in terms of sellers at least being receptive, more receptive than they have been earlier in the year, to even having the conversation around possibly selling and what their home may be worth. 76% of you said yes, we're feeling the shift. Guys, we're here. The market is slowly starting to shift. This is the moment that we've all been waiting on, and today I wanna to talk about what we need to do to capitalize on this. And before we get into that, I wanna let you know about this three-day boot camp next week. It's gonna be May 10th, 11th, and 12th, three hours per day. It's gonna be a Red X boot camp. We're gonna take the first hour each day and just work on Red X, how to use Red X. The second hour each day will be me making live calls. And the third hour each week will be us role playing and me helping you with your scripts. I'm also gonna do a session on my weekly email and take all of your questions. So this is being hosted by Red X. There's a link in the description below or just DM me on Instagram if you're watching this on Facebook or some other platform. You're also gonna get a 15 day free trial of all Red X products. Products. And if you're already a member, you'll get a 15 day free trial of all the products you don't have. So if you want to learn how to use Red X straight from the guys at Red X, if you want to watch me make calls and utilize Red X to cultivate prospects, and if you want to role play and really work at this as a group, this bootcamp could completely change the direction of your career. Okay, let's get into it. So over the last week, my team has secured six new listings, which is great because that's an uptick from what it's been throughout the year. But what was even more interesting were the sellers who were open to having the conversation about possibly selling. The ones that didn't list, but are having those positive conversations with us about the possibility in the near future. Now that was a big, huge uptick. And that's really due to interest rates coming up, kind of scaring some people off the fence, and prices being so high. Now keep in mind, my market, I'm going after absentee owners, second home buyers, vacation properties, which is what I've been telling you to go after. I think that the same problem that we have with primary homeowners is gonna to continue to be there. I think it's gonna to continue to be there for a while, right? Because they don't know where to go. When they sell, there's, there's really nowhere to go unless they just you know put their name on a list, they, they've gotten with the builder, they've secured something, right? The best primary home client that wants to upgrade or something like that is one that's gonna buy and secure their property before they try to sell. What's really difficult is most of the sellers out there, they have to sell before they can buy. And it's really hard to kind of be in that situation where it's kind of wishy-washy. You don't really know where you're gonna end up, where you're gonna be, you can't just put your house on the market. On top of that, they're locked into much lower interest rates than what we're seeing now. So I believe the problem is gonna continue with primary home sellers. Now, I do believe that we're gonna hit that moment of euphoria, whereas the agents who have been working hard, regardless of not getting as many listings as you used to, per the amount of calls you're making, but you are picking up new relationships, you're inputting that data, you're remarketing to these sellers, I believe that you guys are gonna see a rush of activity, and it's only gonna last for maybe two weeks, three weeks, something of that nature, where as soon as we hit that point in the market where things are balancing out a little bit, I think all the sellers that were on the fence are just gonna rush in and they're gonna call their agent they have a relationship with, they're gonna list their property and us as agents, even though we've lost a pocket of buyers due to interest rates, so on and so forth, we're still gonna have a lot of buyers. We're gonna be able to double end a lot of deals. We're gonna be able to sell a lot of properties quickly. The rush of inventory is gonna get gobbled up by the demand. It's not really gonna affect inventory at all in my mind and we're just gonna see this kind of leveling out, but there's gonna be this window, this moment of euphoria is what I wanna call it, where sellers are just calling us to sell, and we're just basically taking orders, and we're, we've got a buyer on the back end. 
This is going to be a very special moment, and I believe we're getting closer and closer and closer every day to that moment. Now, if you haven't seen my free 60-day challenge for real estate agents at zerodiamond.com that includes scripts, tutorials, how to find phone numbers, the whole nine yards, it's free, guys. You need to go there right now. I'll put a link in the description as well. It's at zerodiamond.com. And if you're looking for these absentee owners, go to Red X. There's a link in the description for that as well to get a $150 discount and get GeoLeads Plus. You should really have GeoLeads Plus for rent by owners because that's going to be owners who are trying to rent. That's second home, absentee, investment properties, the ones you really need to be calling right now. And you need to get expireds. Get expireds and go back five, ten years worth in your market and have that entire folder sitting there ready to chip away at every day that you want to call expireds. You're going to call the absentee owners and use my circle prospecting script that's right there on the website. You're going to call the expireds and say, hey, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I saw that your house was on the market last year. Whatever happened with that? Guys, we're just creating relationships and we're churning. We're, we're mixing it up. We're shaking the bushes here. And the more that you call, the more conversations that you have, the more business you're going to close. Yes, go out there and do social media. Go all in on social media. Make your calls in the morning, whether it's calling people, following up with people on social media, as well as making calls to random property owners in your market. Not random, targeted. You're targeting the exact properties you want to sell, the exact subdivisions, exact neighborhoods, if they're absentee owners. Right? You're, you're targeting expires that might have expired last week or last year. Right? Be very intentional with this. And then all afternoon, work on your marketing and branding with your weekly email, with your social media, all the other things that you know you need to do to create that presence. But it's all going to come back to real life conversations. Yesterday, I was chatting back and forth on the general channel in the Zero to Diamond Discord server. And I said, hey guys, get ready for a big week. What are you working on? And someone commented and said, I haven't even gotten a listing six months in. And I'm thinking right off the bat, it took me eight months to make my first listing and to close my first deal. So welcome to the club. But what I went on to say is, is how much time have you spent going after listings and what are those actions? They say, I spend a few hours till I get beat up on the phones. And right then and there, I knew they're not just not spending enough time on the phone. I said, not enough time on the phone and it's not effective because you dread it. They can't hear it in your voice that you're having fun. Guys, you gotta have fun with this. Plus, you need to diversify your prospecting avenues. I can only imagine he's only struggle prospecting or whatever. But he went on to say that um, he's been calling absentee probate for sale by owner expired and canceled, which was good. He said, yeah, but I do need to have fun with it. Missed out on a $1.2 million listing because I followed up too late. Right, you followed up too late, that means you're just not in the game. You're not passionate about this. You're not going after it. You're not going all in. You're not committed. You're not confident. I said, see, the opportunity is all around you. Deals are closing all around us, guys. Every day you wake up and look at MLS, closings by the truckloads. Okay, negative self-talk is the only thing in your way. Dig in, work harder, and have fun. Otherwise, you're just hurting yourself. Guys, realize you're not hurting me. You're not hurting other successful agents by not going out there and succeeding. You're not hurting anyone except for yourself, your family, your coworkers that want to see you succeed. Those are the only people that you're hurting and most of all yourself. Guys, please step out of your own way. Right? Do the things that you need to do to get out.